I had worked for Meganoush for several years, and a lot of us had. And it was clear that she was very determined, and she was very driven, and also, of course, talented. And we thought that she would make a go of it. She and the rest of us could really make a go of it. And 15 years later, it's been, it's been fun, and it's, knock on wood, very successful. Permetric has a great reputation, so it was really exciting to be able to come on board with this team and be able to grow with this team. I have been working at Prometrica for about two and a half years and I loved that it was it is a boutique organization that allows everybody the opportunity to wear lots of different hats and have varied responsibilities. I think that mainly is uh, Megan <laughs> She's the CEO and the founder of this company. We both we are graduate from uh, from BU and that's where we know each other. And then when she graduated and she worked at Miro Pharmaceutical and then she became the director of our statistic and data management there. And when I graduated, she kind of invited me and to join her, uh, to work for her in that company. Being in an environment where everything is here in one place and we're not picking up the phone to be forced to call another country to interact with their data management department. Those types of things are really nice. Uh, being able to interact with IT directly on a name basis and not as a number of part of a larger system, uh, I think is huge. It gives you that personal touch and I believe that we're able to extend that to our customers. Prometrica started as a result of a pharmaceutical company shutting its doors in the U.S. It was an international pharmaceutical company where a number of us were working in the drug development division. And in early 2000s, uh, the parent company decided to uh, shut down the U.S. operation. I was the director of biostatistics and data management in that company. I had been in that position for about 10 years. And I decided to s uh, start a CRO where we could continue the drug development work that we had been doing, but for other companies. And uh, I started the company with um, a team of uh, eight people from our former company, people that we had worked with for many years already. We started the company as a data science company. We provided biostatistics, data management, and medical writing services, as well as regulatory submissions. And uh, that was in 2003. And in 2007, we started offering clinical operations services and eventually pharmacovigilance, drug safety. So we became a full service company at that point. Meganish started her company in April 2003. Her and I had had work together for a few years and she, I took it very personal for uh, that she gave me this opportunity to go out on this new uh, venture with her. I knew that she was going to be a success because she has the knowledge and she has the determination. So I knew she was going to build a successful business. When we started, we uh, Meganish had seven employees and we had no clients at all. So it was it was risky, but we were all willing to do it because we had worked together previously and we enjoyed working together. I, one thing I remember pretty vividly from the old office is what a lousy painter I was. My painting skills have really improved since then. Spinelli Place was really small, so we had to move out of there to accommodate more than eight people. It was very small. We were in tight quarters. I always remember that some of us in offices were always freezing, and then others in the open space were always boiling because the temperature control, you know, as in most places, <laughs> was uh, difficult to manage. We moved into Concord Ave with uh, an office big enough with room to grow, and at that time it just seemed like a really huge, incredibly new office. It was a lot more, uh, it was a lot friendlier for our clients to come visit, so, and that started happening a lot more too at Concord Ave. We were in awe, we thought it was such a beautiful space, Bahe and Meganesh, and the designers did an amazing job. But I think it was a, a very steady growth. 
And now we have some much bigger offices and the number of employees increase a lot. I know we have over 50 employees in the, in, the, in the office here and we have a lot more people working from remote also. So after 10 years, he started becoming a little too big for Concord Ave as well. And you know, when the lease was running up, it was a good opportunity to uh, move elsewhere and, and get a little extra space for not only the people we had at the time, but then with some room to grow as well. It's very important for us to be in Cambridge. We're one of the few CROs that's actually a, truly a Cambridge-based company. There's a lot of CROs out there that say they're based in Cambridge, but uh, you know they may just have a, an office with a couple people in it. But you know we were born and raised here as a company in Cambridge. Meganoush really cares about the people that work here. It's not just about the work. She she really does even outside of work care about the people and care about what's going on in their lives so it's just you feel appreciated here. Meganish has been my mentor I didn't have any sales training at all and uh, she's taught me everything I know about sales about clinical trials in general. This is a place where the CEO definitely knows your name. I mean, she arrives every morning, you know, walks down the hall, you know, personally greeting individuals by stopping into their office or by their desk. The CEO and the CFO are very caring. Um, they put a lot of their own things aside to help you. I think they're two of the most generous people that I've ever met in my life, where they will put their own needs aside in order to make you happy. She is a person-to-person -person type of woman. Uh, the fact that she is a woman and she started out her own business, she has a strong background, I knew she was going to go a long way. In the past few years that I've been here, there's definitely been a shift and more of an emphasis on kind of enhancing the culture here. And we recently moved to a new office park where there's a you know a lot more amenities and there's been efforts to you know increase kind of the you know collaboration or the teamwork atmosphere in the company. It's a unique company. I love the people here. I love working with the people here. It's a great environment. A lot of us have been here ten or more years. We enjoy working together. It's still small enough where everybody knows each other and they, you know, they support each other. The core value of this company doesn't really, I mean, it's still the same. I think this is one of the things that I'm always that hear from millionaires just like, I mean, we just, we, we still, it's a community. I mean, we, it's not like the big CRO. The big CROs really focus on business, focus on money. I mean, money is important for, I mean, for, for company. I mean, you do, we run a business, not, of course it's for money, but it's also so important is like, I mean, you care about people. We want people to grow and be mentored so that they learn new tasks. Some people, especially folks who can learn a task, it's great, you give them one task and they say, what's next? It's a sense of wanting to foster a, a team within the organization. I think it's really unusual in this industry to find a company with this kind of team that we have here, with so many people who've worked together for more than 20 years in some instances. That's, that's pretty special and definitely make, tells you right up front that this is a place where people come and, and they want to stay. I think we have grown as a company. We became more involved in doing activities together. We have contests, we have a gym that we attend together, we have weight loss challenge, and it's Cambridge, people like to bike. If you live here, around here, you can easily uh, bike to work. It has a great bike path. The commute is easy. You can take the red line, get to the center of Boston in minutes. We now have regular social hours where you know we get together as a group after work and you know you know have parties in the kitchen and participate in a lot of the social events that our new building management puts together. We give back to the community in that we're always involved in fundraisers and we're always doing the walks like cancer walks, um, fundraising walks, as well as contributing to employees who are doing any personal fundraising. It gives us the opportunity to interact with one another on a more personal level and get to know our team members and their children and 
their pets and their likes and dislikes on a personal level. Uh, I really I enjoy that aspect of the social events. Before there used to just be a summer party that was strictly for the adults and I remember because I was never invited to them. Within the past few years we've gone to know people's families better. Now I feel like we shift our focus more to getting to know who people's children are, who their grandchildren are. I think we've become more inclusive in that regard. In out of work we usually try to set up events to actually get everyone together outside of work to show that even though we work hard we also can enjoy ourselves after work. And I think that everyone here enjoys that. We have you know, parties going on at least on a monthly basis for different occasions. They bring food, they share food, all kinds of different things. So this, this is like a family pretty much. If someone likes this type of an environment, it's an excellent place for them to work. I think we've learned to be even more communicative with our clients. The whole process, you know, uh, from the very beginning, very communicative with the clients. And that's n not something that we didn't know before, but it's been something that we've realized you have to, throughout the entire process, that has to be uh, applied. Prometrica has invested quite a bit of money on best of breed technologies within the last three years. We've pretty much ripped and replaced our entire infrastructure and started from the bottom up. What that does is it provides a easier time for the employees to get their job done. It actually provides a better work product for our customers and gives us the growth for the next three to five years to handle all of the demands that are coming from our customers. We've actually changed offices. We've moved down the street to this nice brand new building and office where every day is a beautiful environment to work in. My hope and expectation for this company is to continue on the same path, providing the same full service, clinical, comprehensive set of services that we provide today, but doing more and more of that and expanding, hopefully, to other areas of indication. Obviously, it's, it's not the same company as it was years and years ago, but that spirit of, of, of teamwork and friendship has always been around since the beginning and it continues to be one of the, uh, the, the primary foundations of this company. I'm hoping in five years that the company will still be as healthy as it is will perhaps have grown slightly thanks to the trust that our clients do put in our work. So I think Prometrica will still be doing the same work and doing it with the same level of quality. I hope for Prometrica over the next five years is that we continue to invest in technology that will help support the staff and our customers. So in the next five years, I would like for us to expand our data standards initiative that kind of automates a lot of the things that we do in our day to day. And so we can really promote those products that we have in-house to our clients and provide more cost-saving incentives to use us as a preferred CRO. I see Prometrica continuing to grow slowly but surely and continuing to focus on quality, but doing it using cutting-edge technology in the next five years. And at the rate that Megan is is going, her company will be here for the next 15 years. You know, she started it and I hope that it always will remain hers. In the past 15 years, for example, we have submitted and seen the approval of many NDAs. Uh, we have submitted NDAs to the FDA and we have seen those fruits of our labor succeed and become products that the patients use every day. And that's very gratifying. And I hope that we will continue on that path. More and more successes in terms of bringing products to market faster, uh, bringing products to market with greater efficiency and always retaining our high quality, innovating, always looking at problems with a fresh set of eyes and coming up with novel solutions for long-standing problems in drug development. At the end of the day, this is a great working environment 
and a great place to be.